Hey, what's up everyone? So, I'm actually in front of a camera for once. You know, I figure why not try out something new? The news videos are definitely slowing down. There's not really events happening at the moment. And you know, I have some other things I can do, like talk about the figures I've been buying. I actually bought five things between January and February. A Nendoroid, a posable figure, and three scales. And you know, I have a couple of the boxes right here. So I got these three boxes up here, it's pretty tall, I don't even think it fits on the camera, and I even have another down here, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, I'm gonna start off with this box right here first, because I know what it is. In fact, I think I actually know what every single one of these are. We're just gonna go through these one by one, see what I got. Uh, hopefully you find it entertaining, I have no idea, I've never done this before. So the first box here is actually from Entertainment Earth, it's a store I've never bought from before. But I wanted to give them a shot, one, because they had the best price. Uh, through a coupon code with Honey, of all things, I saved $20 on this. I had no idea that was going to happen. Just kind of went through the cart, went to check out, and saw that it was available. So I went with it. It was like the best price I could have found. So instead of being $160, it was $140. And they also had a good, like, money-back guarantee service. If anything were to happen to this, if it got damaged, if I wasn't happy, no hassle. Get your money back, return it, hassle-free. That sounds good to me. So, let's open it up and find out what it is. All right, so I already took it out, but I kind of just wanted to show you that this was the kind of packaging that they gave me. It's just a bunch of paper. Now, my microphone's gonna pick that up, so I'm not gonna mess with it too much, but that's basically like Ami Ami level. It was all surrounded with paper. Everything was perfect. Despite there being a hole in one of the sides of this box, there was nothing to worry about. It came perfectly. <laughs> they also actually gave me a magazine, which I think is really cool. Um, you know, a lot of times when you buy from American stores, they're gonna give you like a little card or something. It's like, hey, buy from us again. Check out these other products. But this is a whole magazine. It's like a whole catalog. It's like 35 pages of just like relevant things that are currently available to buy, right? And they have their prices and they have details about them. I think that's really cool. I wish, honestly, more places did stuff like this. But anyway, I can go on about that for a bit, but I'm not gonna. Let's talk about the figure. The figure in question being the Ebisu 1-6 scale from 3-0 posable action figure. Now, this is the third in their line. The first were Kaiman and Shin. I have Shin, but not Kaiman. Uh, wasn't really too interested in it, but I like these two more. Um, this one specifically seems to be the best of the recent three. Uh, the original two had figures like five years ago, and those were amazing. Maybe it wasn't five years ago, but it was a while ago. Um, and then they reprinted them when the anime came out. But they weren't as good. They didn't come with as many accessories. The outfits were changed a little bit, but basically this is the only Ebisu that's out right now. Um, so there's nothing to worry about. This is the best one you'll get. I don't think they're going to make a version 2 of this because there's no reason to. But um, yeah, you know, presentation-wise, amazing box. You get all these shots of her. Uh, and you even get like a little window if you want to see what it looks like before you open it. Which I think is fun. So she comes in a blister like this. Very basic black blister with some plastic on top. Mine has like a bit of a crack here, which isn't great, but I mean, whatever. You could tell that this is like the cheap part of the package for sure. Also, I forgot to mention, I don't know if this is a thing with 3-0, but these smell horrible the first time you open it. Like legitimately, it smells like you went to a gas station and you put your nose into the nozzle where you get your gas. It smells that strong and it's horrible. Um, I really recommend just like taking these outside and just airing them out a little bit or leaving them in a room that you're not gonna be in for a little bit. It'll just save you a headache. You don't really want to start huffing these things. I'm sure this one's going to smell really bad as soon as I open it. But I didn't think ahead. I'm making a video right now. So let's just do it. Well, there she is, out of her box. These are the pieces. I hope they don't fall out before I put her down. I'm going to move this box out of the way for now. Because let me see if she stands up. No. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put her down. And we're going to take her out. One at a time. All right, so we have Ebisu. So like I said, this is a posable figure. It's like a hybrid between like a figurine and a doll because the clothing is fabric, but like her head and like her body, that's plastic, right? Um, it's a bit of a mixed opinion on whether you'll like this kind of style or not. Not really sure if it's something I love, but I think it works. And considering these are the only kind of figures you're gonna get for characters like this, I think it's fine. I think it looks good, right? Um, her sweater doesn't look amazing. It kind of looks very basic. It's just a dirty sweater. 
It's supposed to be dirty, by the way. If you've never seen Doro Hey Doro, it's a very grimy, disgusting world. So they kind of just represent that by like putting dirt splotches on these things. Um, so the shirt's okay. You get these little mittens, these are her hands. I doubt there are actually like normal hands under these. Uh, but then like the pants, if we look at the pants, and I'll zoom in on this, uh, they have a lot of these like iron metal sheets, <laughs> like as if they're armor or something. These look really good. Her pants and her boots look really nice. So getting these to stand is a bit of a balancing act. Um, I'm sure I'll get better at it if, you know, I had actual time, but for now, you know, it doesn't come with a stand, so you have to make sure it just balances on its feet. Uh, so what else do we get in here? We get a book bag, which honestly looks really nice. Um, you're supposed to put something in this, which we'll get to in a second. You get two headpieces, one from the anime and one that you might not be familiar with if you haven't read the manga. These look amazing. These are probably the best looking pieces in the set, in my opinion. They're just excellent masks for her to wear. You get two sickles. Both are very, like, worn out looking, very rusty, very dirty. Perfect for what this character should be wielding. And besides an extra set of gloves, you also get a Kikurage, which is a really important character to the show. Um, whether this is a cat or a dog or just some kind of weird demon animal, I don't really remember if they ever told me. But it's really cool that they include this. You finally get a little Kikurage figure to go along with her. You're supposed to put it in the book bag, but I'm sure there are other ways to display it. I'm definitely glad I picked her up. Um, I think she'll look good with Shin. I'll put a picture of her with Shin right now, just so you can see the size comparison. These two are often seen together with each other, so it makes sense. They gotta make sure that the scale is correct, and the fact that he kind of towers her is very cool in my opinion. But yeah, that's Ebisu. I recommend it if you like Doro Hey Doro. You're definitely not gonna get many other options for this character, so I would go for it if you like what you're seeing. All right, next up, Marnie from Pokemon. Now, I've been waiting for this for months. Here's the story. This went up for pre-order back in like 2020, maybe October, somewhere around that time frame, and she came out in June. Now, me trying to save some money, I ordered her through the Pokemon Center US, which means, you know, I would have got it a little bit later, but for $138, I was down to wait a couple of months. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. July, August, September, October, all those months went, never heard a word. They just kept pushing it back. They didn't really communicate with anybody. We just had to wait and see what was the fate of Marnie. Then November happened, December happened, January came, nothing. They just kept saying, we don't know what's going on. We'll get it when we get it. And that's just kind of weird. You had to literally complain to find out the newest details on this figure. If you didn't email them, they weren't really communicating with you. So it wasn't until February where we actually got an email telling us that, hey, we're gonna take the money. We're gonna ship her out. And you know, within like two days, she was at my house. Uh, and you know, she came in really good condition. I will say compared to Entertainment Earth, they did a horrible job packaging this. This was basically what we got. That's it. We got a sheets of bubble wrap and those bubbles that fell out of the box. And that was it. I got so lucky that this came in good condition because FedEx isn't really known for delivering packages safely. But you know, I have her now. She looks good in the box. I'm sure she looks great outside of the box. So I'm just gonna open her up real quick. Uh, honestly, pretty nice looking box, all things considered. I really like the art on the side here. And uh, it's just a really cute general black and pink color scheme all throughout. It looks good. I'm going to imagine that there's not much setup with these. Uh, this isn't made by Kotobukiya so much as it is Max Factory. Which means it's probably better quality than the other Pokemon figures, but I don't know if it's going to feel the same, or look the same, or really go with the other ones. So she's actually not connected to her base, which is like, completely uncommon to these Pokemon figures. Normally, they come attached, and you just like, can't remove them at all. But she honestly looks really good. The way they painted her, she looks very clean. I'll take some shots of this for sure. I'm looking at this, and it kind of just looks perfect. Now, again, I'm not here to give you, like, the real review, the nitty-gritty details. But, as far as a Pokemon figure is concerned, I think this looks a lot better than the ones I've bought so far. I've had Dawn and Cynthia. I don't regret buying those two at all. I just think this one looks a lot nicer in comparison. I will say, this is a bit of a pain in the ass to actually put on the base for some reason. The legs aren't stretched out enough, like, the pegs are too far. 
and I've already kind of scratched it up a little bit. There's a little bit of a scuff now because I just couldn't really get it to fit on without, you know, having to struggle a little bit. So I'm just like going over this right now. I'm just looking at it. And honestly, I don't see like a single flaw in her paint. She looks really well painted. Everything about this just looks like it came out perfectly. Uh, there's no like paint blotches. There's no bleeding. There's no like little blobs of extra, you know, plastic somewhere that it shouldn't be. It just seems like they did an absolutely fantastic job with this. And you know, while that Pokemon designs are often very simple and they don't have like so many details, which kind of translate to this, you know, there's not really that much shading on this figure, just like a really dark black and like a very simple pink and like a couple of extra colors throughout like red uh, and white and silver. You know, it, it's fine, right? It looks good. It came out exactly as it should. It looks exactly like the character. I have no complaints. I think this came out really good. It's just a shame that I unfortunately scuffed up her base because I'm an idiot. But again, it didn't fit on like I thought it would. So that's the reality of it. I messed up. All right, so quick update before I move on. After I filmed that last part, I went to grab a magic eraser. I wet it and then I just kind of like scrubbed the little parts on the base that had the silver paint and the uh, other scuffs that were on it. And I managed to get most of it off. So if you do something like that with your figure, or any other figure that has those kind of issues, um, just get a magic eraser. You know, you gotta be really careful. It is basically just like really fine sandpaper. So you don't wanna be too rough, but I figure since it's on the plastic base and not like the painted figure, it would have been fine. Um, you know, just scrub a little bit. You'll be good, you'll be happy. Highly recommend having one of those in your house. Um, and you really don't have to do too much. The magic eraser does the work for you as long as you put on at least a little bit of pressure. But yeah, I managed to save it. Not that it was really that bad, but I managed to save my stupid mistake with a magic eraser. So anyway, let's jump to the next figure. All right, next up, we've already talked about this one before, the Cotton Nendoroid. I did a whole review on this, so this will probably be my shortest segment in this video, but I did buy it in January. I feel like I had to include it. Um, this is a Nendoroid literally for the people who like the Cotton series. If you don't like this series, you're probably not going to care about this Nendoroid. But you know what? I think this is a pretty good deal. You get the game, you get like a little book, a CD, and an Enderoid. Enderoids are normally like 50 bucks. This was 100 because the game is also 50. I think it evens out to being a good deal. If you like this character, you will definitely like this. If you don't, you don't really need to get this. Uh, I'm very happy with it. This is basically exactly what I would have wanted out of a cotton Enderoid, except for maybe like one or two things which I talk about in the video. But overall, it's a good purchase. Um, it might even be on sale at this point. I'm not sure how well this sold. So if you get it even cheaper than retail, I say definitely jump on that if you're a fan. But yeah, not too much else to say. It's good stuff, but we have other things to talk about. Okay, so this next one's from Amazon and you could tell that it was damaged during transit. Thankfully, the figure wasn't. If the figure was damaged, I would have been very upset. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but only one figure was inside. This is a pretty big box. What could it be? It just so happens to be the Taiga bunny figure from Freeing. Now, I've never owned a bunny figure. I've never owned anything from Freeing. But when they made this, I was definitely tempted to get it, right? I'll give you a better shot of it because there's no windows on this. Uh, there's a lot of fine details on this box in case you haven't noticed, but uh, Taiga's my waifu. This is the character I probably have the most figures for. I think I have like 13 to 15 at the moment. I have to recount them. But uh, yeah, this was like one of the biggest ones they've ever released, right? Obviously in size, it is the biggest one. They've never made a one fourth scale of her. When this got announced, I wasn't really sure if I needed it. I mean, of course it's Taiga. I love this character. But at some point you have to say, do I really need more of the same thing in my collection? Because I already have so many figures of her. And I try not to do that. I try and only have like one or two of every character. I've made exceptions in the past, like this one, or like this character. But as soon as people started getting it, I just knew I had to get it as well. So, you know, here we are with a new bunny figure. And like I said, I've never had a bunny, never had a one fourth scale, um, I think. I have some kind of big things, but they don't really feel like this. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a new experience for me. Yeah, this thing's huge. Um, I think <laughs> it's just kind of impressive, right? Like when you don't have something of this size and then you get something of this size, 
it really makes the rest of your figures just kind of look different. It, they don't feel the same anymore. This is now the biggest thing in my collection. And I think it's, you know, it's, uh, I'm happy that it's her. I'm happy that it's actually a character that I uh, really like. So, I'm gonna take her out now. This will probably take a minute, so I'm gonna jump cut this. All right, so what do we got here? We got a uh, an orange base with a peg, all right? It's really like nicely, this feels really nice. I don't know what kind of materials this is, but feels nice. Um, so there's a peg for her foot, which just isn't on the base for some reason. That's kind of weird. Don't lose that. Um, two bunny ears, but I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Let's take her out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. yeah. Yeah, this looks really good. All right, I understand. It's like, uh, I never got the bunny craze, but just like looking at this thing, I, <laughs> I get it. I will say, <laughs> it smells horrible, but I'm sure just like the uh, Ebisu, it'll smell fine in a few minutes, as soon as it airs out. Um, so yeah, my first impressions is that this looks really fucking nice. Uh, pretty much exactly as I would expect her to look. She's a bit more curvy, I think. I mean, her butt's pretty big. I don't think her butt is normally supposed to be that big, and even her chest is kind of big, too. But, um, I think it overall looks really nice. Her hair looks really nice. Her face just looks spot on. She's got these, like, really cute gloves on. So how does this work? You have to, like, put this into the heel, and then you put both of them into... Like, how does... Maybe I'm just supposed to put it into the like the slot on the base first. I don't know why they would design it like this. Why not just put that there to begin with? It feels like an oversight to me. I don't really get it. Okay, so I got her set up. She's on the base. She's looking great. I will say the base itself is not very fun to set up. It was very finicky. I had to spread the legs again and try and just like maneuver the pegs into the holes. It wasn't a good time. Uh, honestly, it probably took me like five minutes. I don't know if I'm incompetent or if it was just poorly constructed. But either way, now she's set up and I have the ears on. Um, she looks fantastic. Honestly, I'm really happy with this. I didn't think it would look that good. I thought it would look fine. But I think now that it's in my possession, I'm really happy. I don't think I could have asked for a better bunny figure of Taiga. Like, I don't know. I guess as soon as I make the review, I'll definitely get into like the finer details, see if everything really is as good as the first impression is. But right now, I'm happy. I think this looks good. I would definitely recommend this if you like this character. And honestly, I think most people are buying this anyway just because it is a very nice bunny figure regardless of if you like her or not. So honestly, this probably is my favorite thing I've unboxed today. I don't think that's too surprising because of my bias, but it's nice to see that freeing gave me a really nice figure of this character that I'm gonna be happily displaying from now on. All right, so final figure. This one I bought from Ami Ami. I had to hunt for this one a little bit because as soon as it came out, it was very hard to get. It went up in price like 100 bucks and I definitely regretted it. I didn't pre-order it. I was just kind of back and forth whether or not I needed this in my collection, but I'm gonna show you it right now. It is the Rika Takarada. Gridman figure. I forget what this one is called. It's like, I believe in future or something. It's a weird name. They made two in this line, right? They made one for Rika and one for Akane. Now, I definitely like both of them, but I didn't like the show enough to get both, and I definitely like Rika more. The only issue is that with this figure, her butt is basically on display at all times, and you could see her panties. I don't think any of these shots are gonna show it to you, but you know, if you look up official photos, you'll see what I mean. Now, this is gonna be the one I don't open today. Uh, I'm gonna leave it sealed for now. I don't really feel like setting it up. There's a lot of individual pieces. If we take a look at like the side, you can see that she's got like a scarf and a book bag and an iPod and all this stuff that's kind of just like flying around her. And those are all individual pieces that you have to set up carefully and make sure that they're in the right spots. But yeah, this thing took a long time to come out. I had a lot of time to think about if I wanted this or not. It just kept getting delayed for like a year and a half or something. It didn't come out until the very end of December. And I think it went up for pre-order in 2020 or maybe even earlier than that. I honestly don't know. Gridman originally aired years ago, so it definitely took a very long time for us to get this. The whole second season of Gridman with other characters aired and completed before this came out. That should tell you how long it took. 
But yeah, I think this looks great, you know, despite her butt always showing, I don't think that really matters. I think overall, it's a very beautiful piece. I love all the little things floating around her. It's like they just grabbed a bunch of references and items from the show and like expertly sculpted them into this like really visually striking base. I also just really love the color scheme on this figure. Her blue hair and really her eyes just look so beautiful, though really it seems like every aspect of this figure came out exactly like the promotional images. This is probably her best figure, I don't think any other one comes close to this. And for 20,000 yen, I think this is a really great piece. I think if it came out for pre-order now, it would cost like 25,000 or more. You know how they are, prices keep raising, so why not pick up something that wasn't ridiculously priced at this point, now that everything else is just rising and rising and rising. So, I'm happy I bought this, I have no regrets, I'll display her without shame, she's gonna look good. Whenever I open her, let me know if you do want me to review her. I don't plan to do it, but, you know, if someone persuades me, maybe I'll get around to it. But I know there are a few other, like, Japanese YouTubers who have opened this and reviewed it already. So it's not like I need to do it, but yeah, let me know. But yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. Uh, that's everything I bought from January to February. I would say, overall, a pretty good haul. I don't dislike anything I bought. You know, not really one to take risks, so everything I bought is from companies that I know usually deliver. Uh, everything's in good shape, nothing was broken. I even cleaned up the one figure I personally made a mistake on, so I think it turned out good in the end. Let me know if you like these kind of videos from me, by the way. Um, I do plan to make more, but obviously I have to wait for more stuff to come in, and it's not like I have tons and tons of pre-orders to do so. So I would say probably at least another like month or two, three, something like that, we'll see. Um, just give me your feedback if you enjoyed it, or I guess if you didn't, let me know why it was bad. Um, thanks for watching, either way. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to watch more stuff like this, and reviews, and news. Um, and I guess until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.